Hi everyone! I have a little bit of success in a plant that I just trialed for the first time in my garden here in Newfoundland and this year we had a very very short season. We have a short season as it is but we're about a month late this year and I wasn't sure if this was going to work. I couldn't find many growing instructions online so I just planted out about a square foot of buckwheat. Now, since I've had some gut issues, I've eliminated all traditional grains from my diet and started eating pseudo-grains like buckwheat. And I said, oh, well, I must see if it'll grow here. So I planted out about a square foot of buckwheat seeds. And here's what the flower looks like growing in the garden. And as it's starting to turn to seed, as you can see, the seed looks very much like a dock seed or a rhubarb seed because it's in the same family of plants and the seed is what you eat it's the inside of the seed and uh, that's what's turned into buckwheat flour or you can also just use the buckwheat um, whole and you know cook it up as a grain even though it's technically a seed so this is the flour in the garden and here's one that has turned into harvestable seeds and I'll just pick one off and they become quite hard once they uh, are ready to harvest. You want to harvest them on a dry day and if you break them open, let's see if I can do that here, you'll see the white seed inside the husk which is what you can make a refined buckwheat flour with or you can make a whole buckwheat flour which is what I'm going to do because it's much easier and just grind it with the outer husk and all. So I'm going to take them inside now and uh, I only planted a few seeds and uh, I'm surprised at the number that I have so next year I will probably plant an entire like small field of buckwheat and it's also very good in the garden as a cover crop because it fixes nitrogen into the soil which is uh, great as well. So I'll go in and we're going to harvest the seeds off the plant and our multiple plants that I brought in that I grew in this spot and I probably should have planted them closer together. There's still some more here I'll take in. But uh, I think they kind of got scattered from the birds and the cats that have been frequenting my garden. And just, they're pretty simple to uh, remove. Now this one had a few unripe ones on it as well. So we'll take them in and I'll show them to you inside and then we'll remove any flour bits and simply grind them in the coffee grinder and see what we get for flour that we can use that's edible. Or you can just boil them up as is and uh, eat them but uh, usually you want to husk them and that's a little bit labor intensive unless you have a grain mill of some sort. So let's go in and see what we can make with this very small harvest of buckwheat. So I'm actually very excited about this harvest, even though it only looks like a little bit here now. But like I said, this was just a trial crop so, and not a lot of things grow great here in Newfoundland. So it's nice that we can have a good, healthful grain that can grow in our gardens. And for every seed I planted, I would guesstimate it yielded probably 20 to 30 additional seeds. So. That's a pretty good return. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just removing the seeds from the husks. I'm actually just going to go and shake this over the sink and um, take out the green ones. And then we're going to toss them in the coffee grinder and see what the flower looks like. Actually, the husks come off quite easily in a uh, large uh, whole colander like this. As you can see, just got to shake it. And it's dehusking it pretty good. Now I'll uh, pick out some of the larger pieces here and pop it in the coffee grinder. So here they are now. I'll just put them in the coffee grinder. And give that a little whirl. And here's what we've come up with. 
That's pretty good, actually. But if I was going to grow this in any significant amount, I would get myself some sort of a grain mill. I'm just going to put it through the sifter here now. You don't need to. It's only extra fiber. There's a lot of fibery bits in there. You may want a, a finer sifter if you want a finer flour, but this looks great. Yeah. And here we have our own buckwheat flour. Actually, it looks like a lot. It's light and fluffy. So I'm also just going to try sifting it a little finer here. Come up with. And this is just from a couple of plants that were planted in less than a square foot, and there's still quite a few left out there that still have flowers on them. Oh, we're getting a lovely buckwheat flower there now. And these husks could probably go well in something like muffins or anything you wanted to add a little extra fiber to, although it's still quite a fibrous flower. And there we go. We have our own homegrown buckwheat flour and it looks like a significant amount to me so yeah I think it's quite a good success and if you're looking to grow a grain here in Newfoundland or in a very short growing season it's actually beneficial to your soil and it's a very good pseudo grain for those that have digestive issues you can grow your own buckwheat and it was pretty easy I really have no tips to give you because this was my first year I just simply planted them in one of my raised beds, and uh, I probably should have planted them a little closer together, but uh, I think it's a great yield. So, success! Looks like buckwheat is an excellent grain to grow, even in short, cold, and damp seasons, uh, climates like here in Newfoundland. So, yeah, give it a try, and I'm definitely going to be growing more buckwheat.